What's up, y'all? Y'all, so we are so crazy. <laughs> we are. It feels, this is so funny. But this is the weirdest thing that we have done. But it's like, it is what it is. This is what we're doing. So today. I don't know if you guys have been under a rock for the super fans or if you just haven't heard, but there was a big blow up on Reddit. Um, yes, what, on Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Woke up to Thursday from text from people like, oh, did you see Reddit? Did you see Reddit? And apparently it was a situation with, uh, Zach and Bow and another woman and him and the and other woman exposing him it on, on Reddit mm -hmm. with text messages and proof right. and other cast members coming on the Reddit and saying leave him alone and it was it was it was drama. So my crazy tale decided to reach out to the other woman who was on Reddit because she had she had put her Reddit information. To put, we saw her post on Reddit and then she put her information mm -hmm. from Instagram. So I messaged her, follow her, and was like, hey, so what's going on? What's the tea you want to be on our channel? India wants to be like. Look, I think I'm a, a real journalist, y'all. I know. So I was like, "Don't be on our channel." I we just have some questions. Didn't think anything of it, but she actually decided to do a interview with us. Yeah. Um, and we are going to play some of it after this. Um, yeah. So, so we have some clips. We talked to her for about thirty, 30 minutes. minutes. Um, and we're also going to go live on Friday, Friday mm -hmm. evening to Friday night. We're going to go live to discuss really. Just That's everything, more like, yeah. yeah, like, where the are we now, the show, and, yeah. it was, we talked about it on the last review, on the, yeah, the last reunion review, we were like, oh, maybe we'll go live just to yeah. kind of wrap up the season. Exactly. So, I guess this puts a nice little cherry right. on top. Yeah, so, um, we know that people were not believing her at first, and then people were believing her, and were like, well, why are you doing this, and why are yeah. you coming out with it, what's your intention? So, we asked a couple of questions. Talked to her for a while. We're not going to play the whole 30 minutes. Some of it we just mm -hmm. are not going to play. But yeah. we're going to play a little bit. So, watch. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let me get my old stuff out. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. 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 So, you blew up the internet last night. So, basically, we... um. What did you mess with we reviewed this whole season. We had lots of opinions about everybody. And I think that, you know, the information that you came out with is really interesting only because, um, as you probably know now, you may not have known before, but the subject of, or the person that we're talking about was very um, up and down. Like people had a lot of different opinions about him and his personality and his ways of dealing with the person that he was married to. And so I think that yeah. what was very interesting is some of the information that you came out with regarding like how he acted, you know, when you first met him versus afterwards. So that's why, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I think, you know, the show is over. He's not married or he's not going to be married for, you know, soon, soon enough, you know, he's getting divorced, but I think it's more or less about, you know, what our opinions were and what we thought when mm -hmm. we were watching and then now talking to someone that is you know kind of coming out and saying yeah same thing happened with me yeah so when you well first of all how did you how did you meet we i saw on reddit that he contacted you in your dms and that's true yeah okay well, so he contacted you i had followed him on instagram and then messaged him just saying, hey. But then he messaged me, hey, text my phone. This is my phone number. And um, basically, like, he couldn't accept people on there. And so I was like, okay, mm, I'll talk to you yeah. there. So then our conversation moved to iMessage. But then, and then he oh. unsent his message of him sending me his phone number. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, people do. They delete the Instagram, of course. So then, he, yeah. yeah. So what made you follow him on Instagram, just out of curiosity? Well, one of my friends, she had watched the show, and she always mm -hmm. told me about him. And then, yeah. like, I had just recently moved to Houston. She was like, he's from Houston. And she was like, he's definitely single now, like, yeah. based on <laughs> his marriage and what I've seen on the show. Mm -hmm. So you should hit him up. She was like, you're cute. Like, I'm sure, like, he'll respond or whatever. Yeah. So I just, I just went out on a limb and did it. Um, after she showed me him, I was like, oh, yeah. He's definitely cute. The smile. Yeah got yeah. me so i was like okay i'll try this and i was always curious about like dating older men because i've been very unsuccessful with dating men my age so mm -hmm. i was like let me just try uh -huh. this out see what it's uh -huh. like and it was not obviously not <laughs> successful what was the timeline how long were you guys from when he contacted you and hanging out and stuff like that how long was that we hung out the same day that we met oh yeah okay and that what month was that that was october 25th Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. So the show was over. And yeah. Was, so yeah. and though, so from our perspective, like all of the stuff with the show, and I'm guessing, like, since you have a friend that watches, they know, like, basically all the filming, even like all the after show, all of that stuff ended like in August time frame. So the reunions were done by August. The where are they now was done by August. So. Um, so clearly this is, you know, after he knows people have seen, you know, October, the show is in full swing. Like everybody is mm -hmm. watching, everybody knows what's going on. So as a matter of fact, did you even start watching the show once you, cause I, I feel like it was still filmed. Like the show was still airing in October. Yeah, it was still airing, but I didn't watch it because like some days I would be over there on a Wednesday, which is the day that the show would air. And he would get sent the clips like that morning. And so he would just show them to me, the clips of him with his wife. And so I didn't feel a need to watch the show because I was like, why am I going to watch a whole show like in mid season with all these yeah. people that I don't know? Yeah. So, oh, wow. Okay. okay. So then how would you like, I feel like the main thing that makes this, you know, interesting, obviously, is that what we found out after yeah. the reunion and after the where are we now is that he actually connected with someone else on the show and they seem to be moving quickly and it seemed to take off and what you may or may not know is that during the season there were all types of spoilers like back in august july like there were all types of spoilers maybe august september mm -hmm. of people mm -hmm. like out in public in houston seeing him out with the new the other person that was on the show or seeing him hanging out and so that was like kind of something that was a spoiler that people knew before the show even aired yeah i had no idea about that and he had told me that like we weren't able to go on dates out in public because we'd be mm -hmm. photographed together and posted yeah. on a blog and he told me that if he was photographed with another woman then the, the show would sue him mm -hmm. because everyone had to be under the impression that him and Michaela were still married wow. because people couldn't know about the divorce yet and that he couldn't file for divorce yet until after like of course um, yeah decision day or something like that right so you guys connected whatever you you started talking hanging out what made you come out on was it was it reddit first i'm assuming that's what yeah. I thought. What um, made you want to say something? And what what was the action or whatever from him that triggered you just being like, look? Well, I had tried I tried to have a conversation with him and he just kept making it seem like it was my fault. And then I was messaged by other people who I'm who he like had said stuff to um based on my comment on Bao's post. And they were just coming at me basically saying that they were told that I'm just some crazy fangirl this and that. And I was like, I'm going to save my image because I did not do anything wrong. And I tried to have an adult conversation with him about everything. I even tried to confront him about Bao on Sunday. And I asked him, I was like, why did you not tell me that you were dating someone? He said, mm -hmm. I'm not. And then um, so I just had to like take things into my own hands and I messaged Bao myself. And I was like, I'm going to find that. You messaged Bao. So those messages were Bao with this Sunday that passed? I messaged her, yeah, on Sunday, and then she responded. I didn't see her response until the next day on Monday. The Sunday after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Because oh. they posted pictures together on, on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Or, oh, or wow. something yeah. came out. Yeah, because yeah, I was sent those pictures. My friend was like, isn't that Zach? And that's what made you. Mm -hmm. And because I had tried asking about it, like I said, he was mm -hmm. denying it. And I'm like, I'm literally looking at this picture right now. Mm -hmm. And I gave him an opportunity to be honest and he wasn't honest. So I was like, okay, I guess I have to go directly to the source and I'm gonna ask this woman and just pray that she sees my message. It all blew up. And then I con I continued my conversation with Bao. She asked me, can you send me his phone number? I sent her his phone number. I sent her his address. I sent all the proof that she asked for. And then we had a like a 20 minute phone call and I told her everything and, she was honestly in disbelief and mm. clearly very hurt. So that makes sense. So when I saw, I saw, I think on Reddit, like screenshots of text of um, Instagram messages that you sent her. And I thought it was before Thanksgiving. And I was like, well, clearly she don't care because they're still mm -hmm. hanging out. So that was after, okay. Thanksgiving. Wow. Oh, okay. So this so is I'm really like, this all blew up in the last week. Yeah. Hmm. But, and he was trying to play like the pity card. He was trying to get me to feel sorry for him. And he was trying to get Bao to feel sorry for him. Um, so his family ended up coming from Baton Rouge 
But then the next day, it seemed like he was perfectly fine posting a QA and a on yeah. Instagram mm -hmm. because I think, yeah. I think he knew that my proof was coming yeah. because he told me that night, um, I expect you not to post any of these screenshots on social media. So did you guys, did you think you guys were exclusive or like, were you, what were you upset by or were you hurt by anything? He told me that he doesn't, he's like, I don't, I haven't talked to anyone since my marriage ended. So I assumed Aww. that I was the only woman he was talking to. He told me that he wanted to be serious with me. And he told me that like, I was perfect and I was his dream girl. I had everything that he'd ever looked for in a girl. Mm -hmm. And so he was the only guy that I was with. And so I assumed that he was doing the same. And so that was for over the month span that you guys were talking. So you yeah. did not, you did not know that he was talking to someone else. No. And like, I was always there oh. for him whenever he needed me. Cause he would be upset a lot, I guess, about how he was portrayed on the show or people mm -hmm. coming for mm -hmm. him about situations with his ex. And so I just tried to be like understanding. And when he needed distance, I respected that. And like, if he didn't feel like going on public and he needed me to go get him food, I would go get him food and I would bring it to his apartment. And like, I was just going out of my way for him because I thought that we had something. Wow. That's very interesting. It is interesting. I mean, I, <laughs> I have so much I could say, but I don't think that it's actually relevant here. But I think that it just sounds very typical of someone that one is manipulative and two, that is uh -huh. older, younger dynamic. It's definitely kind of common that mm -hmm. he would be manipulative. Um, when you talked to her for over 20 minutes, that was via Instagram? Like the yeah. Instagram call. It was an or, audio call, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because mm -hmm. I, I did see that. Wow, I just didn't realize all of this was now. <laughs> yeah, that was, it was, that really was quick. So the only thing that I was curious about, or the last thing I was curious about, is that you really shared intimate personal details. Like your text messages and stuff were pretty, like, they, they put you in a, you know, Very they put vulnerable. your business in a vulnerable place, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Like, what made you decide to just go full balls to the wall because i'm i really wanted everyone to just see his honest true colors like this mm -hmm. is the kind of person he is this like he manipulates women and once all this happened like i did go back and start looking at clips from the show and i saw clips of like where his wife and him like had had problems but then she talked about how like she had gone to stay the night with him or something and i'm like so he's using her too like this is a repetitive thing for him he's constantly mm -hmm. using women for sex and it's come to my attention that i was not the only other women woman there have been other women involved and the crazy thing is is that he told me that like his type is hispanic women and i'm hispanic and he had told me he'd always be like oh say something in spanish like i want to learn how to salsa like this and that and the other women they that go the dancing on the shop. Huh? The, but he did. Oh, he did. The, the, yeah, they did. They so did. That makes he, sense. he may not have been lying about that one little thing. <laughs> he, <likes laughs> sauce. He, he like the other women that have come forward to me who have asked to like remain anonymous, mm -hmm. they're also Hispanic. So his wife, you know, she's black and then his, well, they are, I'm sure they're not divorced yet. So his actual wife is, and then the, the other woman is not Hispanic. Yeah. yeah. And he, he yeah. always told me about uh, Michaela. He'd always be like, I was never attracted her, to her from the second we got married, this and that. Like he was like, she was oh, never he my type. He, he's attracted to Hispanic women. Yeah. Mm. As you know, like we have our YouTube and, you know, like we do our reviews, but our intention here was really like to get to the, you know, to, to, to find out what you had to say, because it all happened so quickly. We are, we do have like some pretty dedicated fans that are very, like we do live sometimes and, and people ask questions. We always talk about, Oh, we need to talk to this person. We need to talk to that person. So us being able to talk to you was really like, like it just, it moved so quickly. We were like, Oh, this could actually work. And, um, but I would say our intention is really mm -hmm. to kind of just, you know, put the information out there kind of to say, hey, guys, all the stuff that we've been talking about, this is definitely, you know, someone that's that is cooperating and or, you know, kind of supporting what people thought. Yeah. So. And I've been cheated on and lied to in the past. So um, 
the fact that I was in the position of the other woman this time, like really affected me because I was like, this is not me. And this is going to paint me in a light that is not at all me or my character. So mm -hmm. I, I knew when I came out with everything that people were going to attack me and people were going to slut shame me and people were going to blame me. Yeah, But I was like, me. I'm going to do this for the sake of women in the future down the road um, to see like, you need to know that this is the kind of person that he is and mm -hmm. don't allow yourself to be like manipulated or deceived mm -hmm. by the facade that he puts on because mm -hmm. he's very good at doing that at putting yeah. on a mask so you like his personality y'all vibe you connect it yeah and he he made a very good first impression on me like yeah he asked me what my favorite food was so I told him I like Mexican food so he ordered me filet mignon fajitas from a Mexican place and had it delivered to the apartment That's and then um he played the piano for me he played my favorite song on the piano yeah. he, he played like, yeah there were definitely yeah. clips of him playing the piano on the uh -huh. show yeah and then like I'm competitive so the fact that he was like playing games with me like, like I said we played Jenga and like I got to see like his competitive side and like it, it, we both kind of fit in that sense. Um, so I feel like what I mean, you you definitely said like your your main reason for coming out was one to like the women to let people know like this is what it is, and two to make sure that you didn't come across as like someone that knew what you were doing or that was like ill intentioned. Mm -hmm. Um, is there anything else that you like? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm want to like say take away from this or like i don't know do you just want it to be over like okay done moving on like how yeah. long have you been in houston by the way i've been in here for almost two months oh, oh. so it was right when you came yeah wow he was okay. the first guy that i met here Aww. yeah he won't be the last it'll be <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. i mean people that are blaming me and whatever i'm just whatever like you were not here you did not see things from my point of view if you don't want to believe me that's fine everyone's entitled to their own opinion mm -hmm. um but i would not be going out of my way to do this and putting myself in a position to be attacked and yeah. shamed mm -hmm. like publicly just to gain a couple followers especially mm -hmm. since i am in school i have a lot of things that i'm dealing with right now and i would not just want to have this added on just because i did this because i felt like that was the right thing to do and that people needed to see his true colors because I couldn't stand to see him like glorified anymore. Like people can say whatever about him because he is the one in the wrong. Yeah. Bao did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. I did nothing wrong. Bao doesn't mm -hmm. deserve any hate. I don't deserve any hate. Mm -hmm. And if these other women decide to come out, they don't deserve anything because the only person to blame is Zach. He knew what he, he, I hope that deep down somewhere he knows what he did wrong. I know he did he has to know that he's the one in the wrong. He just doesn't want to accept it. It like, I did go back and watch, like he had already shown me some clips. Like I said, like a, I saw clips of him and Michaela and like the freak outs and the crazy stuff like that. And that always made me feel sorry for him. I was like, Oh my God. Like, yeah. I can't believe yeah, yeah, yeah. that you were in such like an abusive, like yeah. toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. And, but now looking back, I'm like, well, what did you, what did you do, do to trigger that? There has to be mm -hmm. more to the story than I what we saw. One last question. So you mentioned that what you said under Bao's comments. So you initially, before you went to Reddit, said something directly under her comments where people could see? Yeah, I initially said, um, I wonder if she knows that he's been sleeping around with other women in Houston. Oh. Because I was hoping that people would, it would draw like- Was it their Thanksgiving picture? Yeah, yeah. So I was hoping people would see that and then gain some traction so that she would see my message. But so and she then ended up saying you didn't see it. Yeah. And then you went to write it and then you contacted her on Instagram. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Oh, well, I don't have any other questions, yeah, but I we time. do appreciate your time. We appreciate you, you know, mm -hmm. being willing to talk to us. I think we um are always really honest. We're very straightforward. We're very direct. Um and I mean, obviously people have opinions and so we have our opinions, but I like to think that we are usually pretty um, unbiased and we like call things how we see them. So we were just like, whoa, this is a lot. And she has receipts. So yeah. let's see if this is like really what she said it is. Yeah.
And I have not been contacted by any producers yet, but I did give the okay to give my information to them. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see if anything happens with that. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. I definitely think this is probably only the beginning of all of this, um, as crazy as it all is. And yeah, I think- Wait, we saw somewhere that somebody threatened to sue you. Was that true? Another cast member? Yeah, Ryan. He was in my comments last night basically saying that I needed to be ready to lawyer up and that I was going to be getting phone calls today. He was basically just trying to defend Zach, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I was just like, dude, I didn't truth, do anything so. wrong. What are you going to sue me for telling the yeah. truth? Right. And so I had lawyers um, that were in the Reddit reach out to me on social media and tell me that like if anything happened, they would represent me for free. Because I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. yeah. If it's not, if it's the truth. If it's, it's the, the truth, truth, it's yeah. the truth. So, yeah. <laughs> and I have, I have undeniable evidence and receipts to back every claim and everything that I've said. I obviously haven't posted everything out of respect of for everyone involved. Yeah. Right. Um, and just to save some like personal stuff too. Like, I think in general, it's definitely something that people are going to talk about. I mean, this is the show has a, a a pretty big following and it's kind of a cult following where people are very invested. invested. Yeah. yeah, people are very invested. Mm -hmm. They feel like they know mm -hmm. the people. And so it, I think it, 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 it could get legs for sure. Yeah. And I think I think his silence is really speaking volumes for him. And the fact that Ryan was his verified account on Reddit was commenting yesterday, like basically like threatening me, saying all kinds of stuff like mm -hmm. Well, it's getting late. I know you're in school yeah. um, and I know you've probably been busy today and all of this stuff happening. So. Thank you for having me and giving me the platform mm -hmm. to speak. And like, if anyone has any questions, I'm open to answering them on social media, obviously, to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. And course, if you have yeah. hateful mm -hmm. things to say, I really yeah. don't care. So you're just wasting your time. But yeah. Oh, no, we about. understand. We're we're women first, so we do get that this the things like this happen, and we um definitely respect the fact that you were willing to come on and talk about it. Yeah, no problem. Bye. And Bye. thank you again. No problem. All right, take Bye. care. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Right, okay, so y'all. We so, talked to splice that up to give y'all a little bit of what we talked about. Like we said, we'll talk more about it yes. on our live. So get on our live tomorrow. Um, and we was we had dinner tonight we were like celebrating like the one time when we like the first time in months that we haven't had to do a review a video. and so we had dinner we had drinks and then we had a review or i mean not a review shit see we, we had a video it. interview yeah which exclusive was, yeah so it kind of was I mean, I don't know. Y'all got to tell us what y'all think. Cause we what y'all think? What y'all think about what she said? Do you believe it? Do you not believe it? Do yeah. you sympathize with her? What do you yeah. know? What do you think the intent? I was? definitely. I mean, I wanted to say more, but I also felt like I didn't. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't a uh, catching up with your homegirl conversation. Right, it wasn't. Right, right. It was truly like, what's going on? Why'd you do this? Mm -hmm. What's you know? Mm -hmm. What's up with that? And. I feel like when we go live, we can all talk about it. A little bit deeper. Yeah, well, we can, we can talk about what we really us. think. Yeah, we'll give y'all a link so y'all can get on and really talk mm -hmm. about it. Ask us any more specific questions. But yeah, we just wanted to share a little bit with y'all. And yeah. thank y'all for watching us through this season. Yes. And anybody who's new just happened to be watching this because of the team. Thank you for we watching lit. us. Yay. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Definitely right. subscribe. We'll, we'll see y'all live on Friday. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.